my god okay now we here girl shut we here now girl y'all come on in here let me start talking my mess I got a few messes I want to talk about this morning, girl, because it's early and it's just a few pieces of that. Yes, I can see this. There's a few things that I want to talk about this morning, honey, on the gram. OK, now I'm going to be starting this out on my Instagram. Child, I don't know what's going on, on my Facebook this morning, girl, but I'll be starting this out on my Instagram and then I'll be placing I will be placing this placing this upon me YouTube. So, girl, it's a lot of stuff that's going on this morning that I really want to lay. I really, really want to lay, you know, into communication about. But I'm just going to I'm just not going to talk about it until I receive more information. Um, Until I receive more information about it. And so because because I haven't received all the information about the situations, I'm not going to speak on certain things. I'm just going to, you know, collect my data and then I'm going to um, talk about the stuff. But right now, y'all finna ride with me, do a little slight car chat with me, you know, on the Instagram. You know, Instagram don't really get the car chat. But I'm a, um, I'm, girl, my Facebook acting crazy, girl. But anyway, happy Pride Month. Let's start out with happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everybody. What's the tea? Girl. So I was watching this video, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And in the midst of me watching this video, um, I was very much so I was I was slightly conflicted, you know, and this don't got nothing to do with like social social stuff, like you know, in people business yet. Cause I watched a few videos I wanna be in people business. But I was like, girl, you know, I don't think I wanna speak on it until I've gotten, you know, all the until I've got, gathered all the goods of the information. Okay, before I speak on it. But I want to talk about this really fast, okay? Um, thank you for buying a bag. Oh, that's how that work. Oh my God, thank you. See, y'all don't know nothing about these badges yet. Yeah, you know, the spirit of the Lord has just released that unto me. Thank you, guys. Girl, that's buying the badge. Y'all so oh, I love y'all. I don't know how it worked, but I guess y'all to make me y'all to make me know it. But girl, anyway. Some of y'all mean I want to buy a badge after I say this to. But anyway, listen to me, y'all. I want y'all to listen to me, okay? I don't like dogs and cats and animals and stuff like that, you know? And I don't mean to say I don't like them like I don't like them because I do like dogs. I don't like them in certain areas. In certain areas, certain places. Thank you. Thank you for the bad. Oh, my God. Thank y'all. But listen, y'all. I'm a th I don't like animals in certain areas. To occupy certain places. And this just me. Maybe I'm funny. Because when I grew up, when I grew up in Miami, my grandmama had a dog. Her name was Tiny. Tiny lived in the house with us. Tiny was a chihuahua. And she lived in the house with us for years. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank y'all. So she lived in the house for years. Okay. Lived in the house for years. She lived in the car. We had her in the carport or whatever. She come out. She roamed the house. You know. She went outside to pee and do it. This and the other or whatever. You know. Miss Tiny. Her name was Tiny. And uh, she was the one of the meanest chihuahuas ever. Ever, girl. She was a mean ass dog. You know. Um, but I love Tiny. I did. I love Tiny. She was our dog. Okay, fast forward. My best friend, Miss Eve, when she was alive. Thank you for the badge, baby. When Miss Eve was alive, Miss Eve, she had dogs too. You know, whatever. And when Miss Eve, um, when Miss Eve came to to live with me for a little while before she passed, um, she had her dogs there at the house with me, whatever, and you know. They would, I, you know, they would be in the carport. So I would, I would, I don't, I'm not really like a big animal. I'm just really not like, and maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't know, but I'm really not like a big animal. Like I'm not really big on, on, anim, on animals and stuff like that. You know, I, it's just, it's just not my thing, you know? And I know lots of people have dogs and they have like a really, really great love relationship with a dog. 
and stuff like that or whatever. So I was watching this video and I seen these two people in the store and then they dog started fighting each other and the dog bit the dog and the dog is laying. I was watching, I think it on Baller Alert this morning. And so the dog was laying down on the ground. And so while the dog was laying on the ground, you know, the other dog the, and the owner took off. Um, also, just recently, we were in, I think if my mommy is watching, I think, mommy, where were we? Were we in Publix? I don't know. We were in Publix, and, like, this lady brought this big-ass dog. I don't think it was a Great Dane, but it was just, like, a big dog, you know. And there wasn't nothing wrong with this woman. There was nothing wrong with her. Like, there was nothing wrong with the woman. So, it was not like a, 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 a C&I dog. It, she wasn't blind. You know, so you said, what's my point? Okay, I'm going to tell you my point. So it wasn't like a C&I dog. If she wasn't, you know, going through a situation or whatever. The lady just brought her dog in the store. So while while I'm looking at the dog coming to the store, first of all, people put too much trust in their animals, okay? And they say things like, oh, my dog won't bite. Bitch, you not in your dog, man. Oh, it was in Target, mama. You said it was in Target. Okay, all right. You not in your dog, man. You don't know if your dog, but them dogs, dogs, and I don't fuck off with animals. Dogs and animals got their own mind. You can't think for your dog. You can't think for your cat. You can't think for this. Like them bitches, will, when, they, when they feel the spirit, they will attack. Anything that got teeth will bite you. If it got teeth and it got stingers and it has protective gear, it will use that. Okay, it will use those things. I don't give a fuck what you tell me if your dog or your animal will not attack me. I don't know your dog or your animal. I don't want to be around your dog and your animal. I don't know if this thing will happen to me. I don't know. Okay, so that don't mean, you know, that I feel I don't know your dog. You know your dog. Your dog will bite your ass. You play with your dog the wrong way. Your dog will light your ass up. Okay, so don't subject me to what you feel that your dog or your cat or whatever it is will do. I don't know that. Your dog may not like my energy. That don't mean I'm a bad person. It means I don't connect well with animals like that. Like I'm not an animal girl. And so the lady, it was Target. My mama said it was Target. Okay, cool. Whatever store it was. The dog walked right in the store, and I, I immediately, because I don't, I don't, I immediately was like, ooh, because the dog was big. So I started moving around to the other side or whatever. When I moved to the other side, the dog just, I was like, girl, I don't have a good feeling about this dog. Girl, the dog just walked in the store, walked in the store, and it was a big dog. And the dog just started to shit in the store. The dog just squatted down and started to shit in the floor. Like just, I mean, and it was not little, it was huge balls of shit. I was like, girl, see. One moment. One second, y'all. Hold on, I gotta get it. <clears throat> Hello? Can you moment, please? Okay. I'm sorry. Can I help you, ma'am? Oh, yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Um, I'd like to have. Um, do you sell smoked sausages anymore? Say it again. I'm sorry. Do you have smoked sausage meals? No, ma'am. We don't have a smoked sausage anymore. You don't? No, ma'am. Okay, great. All right, well, let me have a, um, let me have a chicken biscuit meal, but I'd like to add egg and cheese on the, on the chicken biscuit. Large with an orange juice. And, um... Let me have a uh, Hardy's breakfast plate with sausage. 
Okay. Um, with the can I add an orange juice? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that'll complete my order. Thank you. Okay, so I have you down for a chicken, egg, and cheese meal, large with orange juice. Do you have a sauce and spider with orange juice? Yes. Okay, it's gonna be seventeen nineteen at the window. Thank you. My Thank you. You're welcome. Girl, I'm surprised. I, I brought y'all right. It would be the hardest because, girl, honey, she can't. This, baby, this that like, this person carries on, honey. This man screams all through the thing. I was like, God damn. This man screams, honey. So, let me finish telling y'all. So, the dog just squatted now and started taking a shit. Like, I mean, it was so much shit on the floor. Like, and the dog shit in one spot, then kept walking and then kept and kept shitting like I was like, well, girl, what's going on with the what, like what like? And I just was like, I just started holding my face because I I was like, I I this is the the spirit told me that this dog was getting ready to carry. Good morning. Chad, he got his head set under control today. He got his head set under control. Cause you know sometimes they hear said be real loud. <laughs> Your head said be out of control, honey. And so I just was like, okay. So the dog was just, you know, the dog just laid. I mean, thank you. The dog just was laid all kind of goose. My, look at my mom in the comments said it was nasty. Yes, mama, it was very nasty. It was nasty. I mean, it was like really nasty. And she was like, oh my God, he never does that. He never does that. Oh God. I'm like, girl, what do y'all be going through? Why do you bring these big giant fucking dogs in the store? Like these big old dogs. Y'all need a store where it's animal. Like, mm -mm. I'm sorry, man. I just ain't with that shit. I'm sorry. This ain't no shade to nobody that likes dog, that, that has, that loves dogs and have these Ma'am, can I have some jelly, please? Strawberry and grape. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, she ain't really in good spirits, honey. I didn't, bitch, I didn't put my name on the application. You put your name on the application. You fill out the application needs, not me. So, honey, we need some holiday cheer, girl, in the morning. <laughs> so, I'm just like, so my mom was like, oh, my God. And I said, see, mom, this is why I don't, I don't like stuff like this. I just don't like it. You know, and it's, it's, I just don't like it. And I just, I just feel, and these are just my personal feelings. And some, they're going to be dog lovers out there that feel some kind of way. I'm sorry about that. But if your dog is your dog, that's not our dog together. It's not our dog together. That's your dog. And, you know, them dogs be in the store. I'm like, girl, I will bust your dog. in Because, see, I come in the store. I, everywhere I go, I have my firearm. My, I am licensed to carry. Oh, thank you, baby. And I will use my firearm on your dog. If your dog attacks me, I will use your fi my firearm on your dog. Multiple times. And please get out the way. Because I will use it on your ass, too. Because if I'm not fucking with your dog, like, I'm not going to take lightly to your dog attacking me or your dog biting me. Or your your innocent dog. I'm not going through all that because I don't see dogs on the same level as humans. There are a lot of people that will treat a human. I mean, a dog will 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 elevate a dog to a human level and treat a dog better than they would a human. And I get it. You know, humans ain't shit and stuff like that or whatever. And I get it. I understand that. But. I, I understand that and it's okay if you treat the dog better than human but that's your dog okay so my thing is I'm just not for dogs and certain I'm not for dogs occupying certain places if you're a chef or a cook 
or this and the other. I don't feel like that you should be serving your dog. Like I've looked at dog hair shed. I've looked at the way dogs hair shed in places. I feel like that your dog should not be in the kitchen with you while you're cooking. And then you serving plates and shit like that. Like you might love your dog like that. I don't love your dog that way. You may love your cat that way. I don't love your cat that way. I don't know your dog or your fucking cat, your fucking dog or your fucking cat. I don't know them in that space. I don't know it. And so I personally, these are my personal feelings. I'm not bashing nobody that has a dog owner. I mean, that's a dog owner. I'm not bashing anyone that's an animal lover. I'm just saying I don't love them in the same space that you love them. And I don't love them in that place where I feel like that we need to be sharing a space on the on the on the on the aisle, on the on, in the store aisle. I don't think we need to be shopping together, me and me, you and your dog. Unless you a blind ass person and you need a CNI dog to, 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 to shop you, you and your CNI dog gotta help you through the store or whatever. You get if that's just your pet and you got your pet riding around in the motherfucking basket with you, or, or you know there are people that say they have to have their animal with them for emotional distress. Well, girl, maybe you should door that. Uh, uh, what's Instacart? Maybe you should Instacart where you can sit at home and lay on lay on the sofa with your dog and your cat and this they can love on you and give you that emotional, you know, connection that you need. Hi, good morning. That you need with your dog and your kitty because, you know, you, you start going out in the store and then you think I'm supposed to respect your dog. Your dog over here sniffing at me, running around. And don't come to my house with your dog. I don't if I've I've stressed stressed this on numerous occasions. If don't come to your my house with your dog. I'm not a I'm not a dog person. And I, I have to and it's it's sad that I have to say this stuff to people like, you know, and I people that I love have came to my house with their dog and I'm like, hey, you know. I be trying not to, I cringe because I'm like, I got to, I got to get in this space because the dog, they, the dog just wandering around my shit. The dog just running, wandering around my house and I'm in here about to have, I'm, I'm about to have an emotional breakdown. I'm about to have an emotional breakdown. I'm about to have a stressful, I'm about to have a breakdown. I'm about to have a breakdown because the dog is just running, just roaming my house. I'm really about, I'm like, I, I can't really function correctly because the dog is running through my house. Just running. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm about to have a, a, a panic attack. I'm about to have a panic attack because this dog, because I was like, oh my God. Why is this dog just, I, why? Why did you bring your dog to my shit? I, I, do, am I the only per, am I, I can't be the only person. I can't be the only person. Like, I, I'm just, I can't be. Like, I cannot be the only person that feels this way. Like, I think that it's rude to bring your dog, to bring your dog from your house to someone else's home. I just think it's rude because, you know, I just, I, I, I just don't like it. And then I tell, I always ask people like, if they want to come by, you know, hey, don't bring no kids and no dogs. I got too much whatnots and shit on my table, and I got too much what whatnots and things on my table and all this type of shit. Like I, I, mm -mm. no, but just for them kids, you know? And I'm okay with kids because kids can get somewhere and sit down. I'm all right with that. It's them dogs that be just running, 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 running through the house smelling. And bit, I have levels of, of the house. So, and, and them dogs that know how to climb stairs, them dogs be climbing all up. I was like, ah! I'm, I'm over here like I'm, I'm over here rubbing my arms like trying to keep myself calm like
You don't need to see my lie, girl. You talking too much stuff. If I wanted a donut, bitch, I would eat a donut. If I want a chicken sandwich, I eat a chicken. Bitch, I just bought one. I don't know. I've asked God to, you know, to help me in that space, but it's just I just don't feel like, and and then I just I just don't, you know, I just don't, and I I I try my best to be to be cordial and, and friends and stuff like that it's just that i'm like girl i just i'll like keep like no no i've all i have the strong feeling that dogs need to be out the door if you got a dog in your house that's great but my i have a strong feeling that dogs should be outside this is why you have a dog house out the door if that ain't your feeling, I don't got a problem with that being your feeling. But dogs don't are not coming in my house. I don't want no I don't want no animals laying all on my furniture. This hell, I don't even have dog ass niggas in here. Okay? So I don't want dogs all over my furniture and laying all over my shit. And I don't want that. And I don't have a problem with nobody else what the, what nobody else has going on in their shit. They don't got they don't I don't have a problem with that. Okay? What nobody has with their things. But don't bring your motherfucking dog to my house. I don't want to be shopping in the store with you and your dog. You get what I'm saying? I don't have any control over the store. But Keep it if your dog is roaming the store. Like some people just love their dog and shit so much they just they just say what they do with children. They don't have any control over their kids, and so they do this shit with their dogs. They don't have any control that, that with their with their kids. So they they do the same thing with their kids and their dogs. The same shit. Let's let them roam. Oh girl, he okay? Huh? He all right? And I'm sitting there like, God, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna really have an explosion in five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna explode. I'm going to explode in moments. And then there's some dog people that say, Well, I don't want you to come to my house because my dog's there. Hey, I don't got a problem with that. We, I won't lose, I won't lose no sleep. We ain't gonna be no enemies. I don't have a problem with that. I always ask people when I come, when I get, hey, you got dogs and stuff? Okay. All right. You know, I'm going to keep my little distance because I'm not a dog girl. I'm not a cat girl. You get what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm just not the girl that I am. I'm all right with, um, <laughs> I'm all right with everything else. I'm not a dog girl. I'm not a cat girl. And that's cool. You don't want me to come around there? I got it. Shit, we can talk on the phone. I'm a girl. This, uh, this bitch is 2020. Bitch is 2022. I could FaceTime you. We could FaceTime each other. And be friends. We could be friends over FaceTime. We don't never got the link. We don't never got the link. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see what y'all saying, girl. Um, you said I have two dogs getting rid of someone, but after this dog situation, mm hmm okay. Boston, me either. Uh, oh, y'all want to see me eat the food? You will in just one moment, okay? You say you love your dog, but you totally understand. I get, you know, I don't, I'm, this just me. These are just the way I feel about shit. Because the way I feel about it don't make it right. It don't make it right. It don't make it perfect, but it just makes it for me. Like if somebody's about to occupy a space with me and I tell them, like I have had people pop up to my house with their dog, you know, and I think that that's something that, you know, they're used to. They popped up to my house with their dog, with their animal, and they've let their animal run, like just run through the house. And I done been like, I've been really trying to be a nice person and be like, hey, you know, what the fuck you brought? <laughs> like, what's going on? 
Did somebody tell you that, uh, <laughs> hold on, girl. Ain't nobody tell you that, you know, I'm really not a, or maybe we haven't had this type of conversation or maybe I didn't know that you were a dog person. I remember one of my friends and I never, i never forget this. One of my friends and he probably laugh about this. He probably watched this video and laugh. He popped up on me one day and uh, we was, we was kid. And then the dog just started, the dog just ran in the door. The dog just ran inside of the house, just ran in and just started, you know, doing what dogs do, run. And I don't know what the fuck dogs do because I'm not used to that. Running and running. And I did, every time I see them going to, every time I see uh, them run into the, a corner, they run into a corner or they run and they start smelling. Like every time I've seen a dog outside, I've seen a dog run to a tree or they run into and they start smelling. Then the next thing I know, their legs start. Hey, Jason, I love you. Their legs go up and they start to pee. And so that's what I start holding my head like, oh, my dear God, please. And, you know, every time a dog comes into a new space, I don't know much about animals. But every time the dog comes into a new space, they smell, they, they run around, they smelling. And I'm like, bitch, every time I've seen a dog run around smelling, the next thing that comes out is urine. I don't know what's going on with the way, I don't know the way that you conduct business with your dog in your house. But don't bring your dog here to me. Don't do that. I don't think that it's right that I have to be sitting over here now in my house nervous, nervous and trembling and shit like that because you done brought your motherfucking dog here and I'm sitting over here on the edge of glory looking like, girl, what, what are you not going to like, I'm, I'm, I can't sit still. Cause I'm, and I'm trying to be nice. Hey, hey, what's the dog name? Hey, hey, Putin, Poodle, uh, uh, Pikachu, Pop Pop, whatever you call your dog. Hey, Pump Puppy. Hey, I'm in, in my mind. I'm opening the garage. I'm opening the garage in my mind. Because the dog need to be in the in the motherfucking garage, and out on the or on the sidewalk somewhere. Get out! You don't live here, dog. And I don't need you. I'm mean, not coming back here either. I know somebody was out there like, girl, you don't never invite me to your house, mm -mm, bitch. Mm -mm. After you came here with that dog that first time, and you let that motherfucking dog run. I went with that shit. You let your dog run. I smile. I smile. You let your dog roam. Your dog don't live here. Your dog live with your ass. Hold on. That's why you can't come back here. That's why you can't because you can't, you seem to can't go anywhere without your doggy. You can't perform without your dog. Your dog is, is if, and I get people saying, well, my dog is my emotional. That's what I hope. I keep my dog for emotional stress and emotional, you know, for emotional protection and stuff. Okay. I, I, listen, it's a lot of stuff that people go through. I, maybe five years ago, Shit, maybe last year I would have said some ignorant shit and been like, girl, if y'all can't survive without a dog, bitch, what in the hell are you going to do without a human? You over here, some, you, you know, I would have said some ignorant shit like that. You know, there are people that suffer with things. There, are, I'm learning, I'm learning more. I'm growing more and I'm learning how to be more mindful of shit that I don't understand. I'm learning how to do that. I'm learning how to do that because I didn't see it the year last year. Shit, I'm talking about five years ago. I didn't see it last year. 
Like, what the fuck a scratch? What the, how the fuck the dog gonna take the scratch off you? But, I mean, I didn't see it like that last year. I'm okay with it now. Now I'm like, all right, Madison, broaden your thinking. Broaden your, broaden, broaden your thinking. Broaden, broaden the way that you, you know, so under, empathize with people who may cope with things different from you or who may need some stuff different from you. Uh, empathize, understand. I said, okay, all right, cool. All right. Some people be uh, so emotional. Oh, God, Fifi. Oh, Fifi. Bitch, when Tiny died, when, when my grandmama dog Tiny died, we loved the Tiny for a long time. But we put, we put we picked Tiny up, put her in a paper bag, and buried her ass in the backyard. And cause she ran her ass outside and got hit by a car, ran over, ran, she got ran over, and we just scooped her up, dug, wrapped her up, dug a hole in the ground, put her in the ground. You know, that's just you know, that's just my level of of love that I have for the dog. I get it. We don't have the same love, but I need you to un also understand. Hold on. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 I need you also to understand that I don't have the same love level for a dog or animal as you do. Can you not understand that? Can the lovers of animals and dogs and all that kind of shit, can you respect that people don't have the same level of, I don't see an animal as an equivalent to a human. I don't. And I'm not going to die and leave all my money or my fortune or whatever to a dog. What in the fuck the dog going to do? The dog already taken care of in life. God takes care of them dogs. He gives them fur and claws and teeth. You put a dog out in the wilderness, girl, honey, she's going to live. She's going to she's going to survive, girl. What the fuck does she need a million dollars for when you die? But, you know, once again, that's me over in them people's business. And now, that's not my business. That's me over there in their business. And that's their money. And whatever they want to do with their money. I have to respect that. But what I have to respect... But what people have to respect about me and understand about me is that that's your dog. That's your dog. That's your cat. That don't got shit to do with me. And I don't need that dog and cat roaming in my house. So if you're my friend and you have animals that more power to you and your animals that's great please i beg you on everything that god is in heaven i beg you this do not bring your animals here to my home don't do it When me and Miss Mary was going in Target, and that lady brought that big gigantic ass dog in there, um, I 
the dog, I looked at the dog, the dog looked at me. I looked at the owner. Mama, you sure that was public? Uh, that was public. That was you said it was Target. Oh, it was Target. Yeah, it was Target. Cause okay, yeah, it was Target. Let me tell you, it was Target. Yes, it was a Mama Duke dog. It was Target because Miss Mary was on the cart riding the cart in Target. And she got scared because the dog started smelling around her. And y'all don't know me, man. Y'all don't know me. I'm really being very polite in my conversation about this because I'm I'm trying to grow. Okay? I'm trying to grow. But I lit that motherfucking shit up. And I told mama, mama, you see this bull? This is foolishness. Why she got this big gigantic ass dog running? Coming and just the dog just started laying goose eggs all in the target. And she said, Oh god, ooh, oh my god, ooh. She didn't have no and she was not prepared for because she didn't have no no pooper scooper. She didn't have no pooper scooper. She didn't have nothing like to scoop it up. Oh my god, ooh, ooh. Bitch, did you think them people at Target was supposed to go behind you and pick your dog shit up? That's your dog. You heard Miss Mary in the temple. She said they were streaming. Y'all know it when she says streaming, she means they were screaming. So yeah, the people started screaming. Ah, 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 bitch! It need to be a sign on the. Y'all don't want me to start open no business, no store, cause my sign gonna be bigger on the door. Don't bring and it ain't gonna be nice. Don't bring your motherfucking dog in my house. Leave your dog in the car. Or leave your dog at your house. If you need to come in your, if you need to run in here and get somebody out of my store, bitch, and you got a dog, if you got a, if you need to come to my store, you got a dog, you better have somebody to watch your dog outside. Don't come in here with that shit. I ain't with that, man. I ain't with that shit. They was running around trying to find something to pick the dog shit up off the floor. Man, it was some craziness. I really ain't feeling that chicken sandwich, girl. She all right. Mama, you said it was stank. My mama said it was stankin' bad. Mm -hmm. Just thought I'm gonna eat off that chicken sandwich. She was okay, but mm -mm. she not a fresh patty. I'm gonna eat my hash brown. Mm mm mm. Anyway, those are my little two sets. And you say in California they can sue me for discrimination. That's why I live in them places where they do shit like that. Mm -mm. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that I'm banning. If, if I had a store that I'm banning from my damn store. Don't come in here with them fucking dogs and shit. I don't care how much you love Fifi. It's a time you got to separate from Fifi. Let Fifi stay her ass home in her y'all house. Don't do that. Let Fifi stay home, girl. Mm. You say Judge Joe Brown. What happened, girl? Judge Joe Brown is old as fuck. He old, he tired. His nuts probably the size of motherfucking two almonds and dried up like raisins. He late. Unattractive. Nobody pays no fucking old ass, tired ass, funky ass Judge Joe Brown and his homophobic, transphobic, whatever phobic comments that he makes about gays. Any black person that do that shit, I don't give a fuck about them hoes. If you knew what, it, if you remember what it took for you to be a black judge, you you sit your ugly ass down. P 
people forget the they forget all the discrimination and shit that they done face as being black and then walk over in a place and feel some type of way about gays and trans and stuff. I don't have no respect for them kind of people. You bitches is trash. It's not the same thing. You choose to be gay and you, I didn't choose to be black. Well, bitch, when you chose to be straight. Mm. That's the way I feel about shit like that. Me. If you black and you still be with the fuck shit with gay people, you trash. I sentence you bitches to 10 days. 10 days during Jim Crow. But 10 days during Jim Crow on steroids. And then, then, could you imagine being black and gay? Black and gay and trans all at the same time. Not only do you got to deal with the with the with the white folks terrorizing you, you got to deal with the colors terrorizing you too. If you just be straight, then you won't have these problems. They'll never get it because they don't forgot about it. Um, you say what about gays who discriminate on people in their own community? Sometimes they are privileged gays. And then sometimes, a lot of the times, there are gays. They are gays that also <laughs> have been brainwashed by that shit that they've been taught to them by Big Mama or they or they Granny. Because I seen some somebody making some real vicious transphobic comments, and I seen about fifteen gays up under there saying, "Yeah, they is dick. They do. They is." They do his titties at the top. They get about they the end, and I'm like, nigga, you ain't but two, you ain't but two, you ain't but two motherfucking rainbow sprinkles away from being trans, bitch, in a in a straight person's eyes. You ain't but two rainbow sprinkles away, bitch. So you know, it is what it is. See, I learned my lesson about thinking that I'm safe when people. say transphobic shit or homophobic shit or whatever and I'm like oh I'm safe they ain't talking about me until the gun is pointed at you and it's really they shoot they're shooting everybody that's involved in that and when the gays and the phase the gays the phase and the hoosas finally really open up the eye and pay attention that when the conversations are being had, they may not be talking to you, but they are talking about you too. And the moment that you get on the other side of this of that smoking gun, you will you'll understand like, oh, all this whole long period of time, you are they you were talking about me too. You were including me in that too. You were including me in that conversation. You just, I just was something, I just was a comic relief for you. Or I was just, you know, or I was just like a protective shield. Because sometimes those type of people use, use the people who feel safe as protective shields. Well, you know, I ain't homophobic, or I ain't transphobic because see, this my friend right here. Until it's not your friend. And then, all of a sudden... Cause it ain't out the blue. It's always been that way. It ain't out the blue. It's always been that way. You a tranny? You a? It ain't out the blue. It's always been in that space. You just on the other side of the smoking gun.
you know, I've learned my lesson. And so people ask me to speak on that type of stuff all the time. And what I say is I learned my lesson. I occupied spaces where I thought I was safe. And by me occupying those spaces where I thought I was safe, And then the bullets came out. Right. You said same as, oh, I'm not racist. I have two black friends. Correct. Correct. Thank you, your gay best friend. I love you, JJ. So I get it. But sometimes we have to, um, when we are, uh, you ask me if I'm a man. You want to crawl up under this skirt and find out? I ain't go to the store with no panties on. I don't know about you, but I got dance fever. Hey. So. It just hurts me to see how and see, for me, for me, it's not about, it's not about people actually accepting, ex accepting, because I don't give a fuck what you accept. It's about the blank disrespect. Basically, what you're saying, I don't have to accept you. And I'm not going to respect you. But I'm going to put this killing curse back on the folks. And this is not all black people. This is not all blacks. Because just like, just like I said earlier in this video, I'm learning how to be more empathetic towards things that I don't understand. I'm learning how to do that. Okay? I'm learning how to do that. And it's okay to learn it's okay to learn how to how, it's, it's okay not not to take away just because i just, just like i said because my dog video could have went me talking about dogs and the people's loves for dogs that video could have went real left if i'd have really been outside of the box saying this shit like oh y'all motherfucking dog i could have really been and it could have really really been so offensive to lots of dog people and animal people um but I didn't because I'm understanding like, okay, there are people that might need us. They might need CNI dogs. And there are people that might have emotional distress that they need their dogs and animals. I just don't want them. That don't mean I don't, I don't, it don't it, 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 that don't mean I don't respect them. I'm respecting them, but just don't bring that shit over here to my house. Cause in this house, I don't want no dogs running around, running around in here. And for people that say, oh, well, I ain't fucking, I, I ain't finna never call a he or a, a she or he or he, all that shit that they do and this and the other. Okay, nobody's trying to get you to go against what you believe and this and the other, but it doesn't hurt you to respect somebody. It does not hurt you to respect somebody. Listen, y'all terrorize me about that fish shit for so long. I barely even, I don't even really say fish unless I'm talking to my, uh, until unless I'm, now you come over here in my business while I'm, talking or I'm calling myself the fish or or me and Chi Chi talking about fish and this and the other. Now that's your feelings hurt. Your feelings hurt by that because I'm not talking to you. Now I ain't talking to you now. Okay? Now yo now you come over and get your own feelings hurt by being in my my in my area. That's your feelings hurt. Not mine. But Y'all don't, y'all, I don't be, you know, y'all, I'm not going into that, but I've learned, I'm learning how I myself am learning how to be open to other people's situation. Cause I know that I, I, I don't live in this world by myself. I don't live in this world by myself. I don't, I don't. I don't be in the store by myself. There's other people in this world. There's other there's there are other things, and I may not have to totally accept it, 
but I might need to respect things. And so it's understandable for me to be like, okay, now yeah, I said, I'm learning how to spend. But this is the curse that I put on those people that say, I ain't never going to, you will never come from up under, up under the white oppression that you want to come from up under, still treating your black gays and your black trans the way that you do. You ain't never going to see a change in the world. Until you be the change in the motherfucking world, you ain't going to never see a change in the world. Until the change start in your house. You need to check around. You need to check around the shit that you do to your own people before you walk outside and expect somebody else to respect you. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. I, do, 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 I, 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 I demand the white, the white man to motherfucking respect me. And this and the other. I demand that. I demand to be treated like a human being. I demand that. So you know what I got to do? I got to treat other folks like a human being. I got to respect other people like a human being. Okay? I got to do that. And so what I want to happen for me, I got to apply that to other shit. And a lot of you motherfucking black people be with that bullshit. And y'all don't want to respect the gays or the trans. Y'all don't want to do I see y'all do I I ain't never fuck fuck them. I ain't never da, da, da. and then be and then I be seeing some of y'all be right up under them same Black Lives Matter posts and all this type of shit. When they gonna stop doing this to us? It started in your house. You can't want it and don't give it, niece. That's all I'm saying. Some of y'all gonna win me me down about this shit, but you can't want it and don't give it. And see, I speak to this stuff. I speak to my colors about shit like this because I be trying to get my colors to remember just 60 years ago. Just, and 60 years ain't no long time because my mama's 60. Just 60 years ago, bitch, you hoes could not drink from the water fountain. You couldn't even, you really couldn't even look too hard at a white woman. And now you get down here and you treat your own children, your own neighbors, your own, because they LBGT, they gay, and they trans, you treat them with the same way you was, bitch, 60 years ago with stuff you couldn't do. When you scream out your mouth, oh, I didn't want to watch none of that gay shit on TV, and I don't want to see no gays and fags and queens. And I, it's influencing the children. This is the same conversation that Tom and Sarah was having about your motherfucking ass, bitch, when they were sitting out trying to figure out programming when they was going to let Negro Day. Remember Negro Day from the damn, the new girl in town got a thing on the string. The new girl in town. When they was thinking about Negro Day, on TV, we don't want that infantry. We don't want our kids seeing colors on TV. We don't want our children watching any colored people on television. What about the children? What about the children? We don't want those colored women in our bathrooms. Did y'all not watch the help when they didn't want to maze them even sitting on their toilet seats? Because they said the coloreds have diseases. Y'all don't never see y'all don't even y'all don't we done got so past a lot of that stuff that was done to us. You feel me? As black people, we done got so past, so far past that and we don't even see that we 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 done got past that and 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 doing that shit to another marginalized group. So when y'all ask me what's my opinion on this and the other and that and the other, uh, you ain't never going to come out the shit you want to come out of because you keep doing it to your own, bitch. Until you do right by your own, bitch, everything you do, everything that's going to come to you, bitch, is what you put out. That's just what it is. I ain't respecting no fags, okay? <laughs> I ain't respecting no fags. I ain't respecting no trannies. I ain't respecting no I. Don't cry down the street. I don't need you crying and carrying on about, oh my God, I just really wish they would stop doing this to us. Please. Well, us got to stop doing it to us too. Shouty. 
That's my opinion. That's my opinion. So Joe Brown could suck a motherfucking goddamn bumpy dick. Judge Joe Brown can suck a bumpy's dick. I don't give a fuck about a Judge Joe Brown and any black motherfucker that thinks like a Judge, a Judge Joe Brown or any of them gay, gay haters. And, and that goes for the gay haters, the gays that's gay haters. I give a fuck about y'all. I could give a damn about you, bitch. Because you done forgot. You done forgot how hard it took for you to go through school to be a judge and as a black man. Hear that bullshit. No marginalized, any marginalized group that got their foot on the neck of another marginalized group, I don't respect you. I don't give a fuck about you. Because you know you as a human being, you know how hard it is. You know how hard it is to occupy them spaces. You know. So why would you, why would you knowing how hard it is? Or you, you know, knowing the difficulties in getting to where you got, do the same thing to somebody fucking else. Why? Why? Oh, it's about morals. This whole country was built off what God said and God is in and these this motherfucking country ain't of God. This whole country was built off one nation under God. Ain't shit God about this fucking country. Y'all better get somewhere and sit down with this. Don't start me. And my mama loves the Lord. My mama loves the Lord. She loves the book and all of that type of stuff. And we have our little run-ins with stuff or whatever. Because I, I know God my way and she know God hers, you know. And my whole thing is this country, all this shit about what they doing on morals and stand. You, you mean to tell me anybody that's sitting up there in that White House talking to you about morals and standards, bitch? And they took this whole land from them folks that was here before them. And still get them people still pouring in the motherfucker. Man, get out of here. Don't talk to me about nothing with no morals and stuff. That's just like you hoes telling me what the ten what the what what the Levitical law say and you ain't following the Ten Commandments. Don't say shit to me. Bitch, don't you say if you sucking dicks out of a motherfucking two-sided straw, bitch, don't say nothing to me. Nothing. Ain't nothing you can say to me. If you send your ass on multiple dicks and I'm sucking one and got one, bitch, don't say nothing to me because our destination is the same place and we going by the book. Don't say shit to me. Ain't nothing you can tell me. Nothing. If you lying on your motherfucking taxes, if you motherfucking cheating time on your job, if you sneaking something in your pocketbook out the fucking store, bitch, don't say nothing to me about sucking dick and getting fucked in my ass, bitch. Because our destination is the same place according to the book. So don't say nothing to me. If you over here talking to me about what went on in Leviticus, bitch, and you having a whole shrimp dinner out of the same area in Leviticus, bitch, don't talk to me. Don't tell me shit about what the Bible say. Nothing, because you ain't read it, bitch. Big Mama told you about Sodom and Gomorrah, and she don't know a fucking thing because Big Mama couldn't read because the same slave owners that had Big Mama locked up back there in the room and wouldn't let her motherfucking ass out to do nothing but wipe down the counter, bitch, couldn't read a goddamn thing. And so, and bitch, it was the same book had her motherfucking ass goddamn bound to her not being able to read. So, bitch, don't you tell me shit that Big Mama done taught you, bitch, about what the Bible say about any fags or gays, bitch. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it. That's all. I don't want to hear it. Y'all don't be, see that y'all don't got me started up. <laughs> y'all done started me up with this shit. Because I feel some type of way about the blacks. I don't give a fuck what the white people do. Because they already do some oppressive ass fucking shit. But the blacks that do shit towards the own, to, to, to their own black gays, 
And then them other gays that be over there, them black gays that be over there with that bullshit. Don't fuck with y'all. I learned my lesson. I don't ask God to forgive me. I learned my lesson. Once my eyes don't be over to it, I back up when I see it. But you motherfuckers that be talking to me about that shit that go on in the book. And you hoes is doing all this other shit out of that's on the first of the list. The one, if we going by what's according to what's going on with the what the Lord say in the morals and stands of the Lord, bitch. And you talking to me about shit like that, honey. And you done skipped over any one of them Ten Commandments, bitch. The one that he put his being according to the book. Now, we're just doing this. Now, I'm just fucking with y'all the way y'all be fucking with me. According to the book, the one who... The, the 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 law that he took his finger, his big finger, and came from the from the heaven and wrote on the rock on Mount Sinai and told you hoes, thou shall not steal. You hoes that be out there scamming, you bitches that did all it. A lot of you hoes just did this whole PPP loan, bitch. You just scammed the, the government, bitch. That is a that's called stealing and lying at the same motherfucking time, bitch. Don't you tell me nothing about me taking no dick in my ass or sucking no dick on me being a Two of titties at the top, dick at the bottom, or no transit. Don't you tell me shit about that. Because, bitch, according to all of those things, we're going to the same place. You can suck my ass, and you ain't going to never, ever, none of you hoes will never, ever, 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 ever get me to see it no different. Don't come talking to me about no none of that shit. Stay your goddamn ass home. Stay your ass home. Don't pull up in my yard talking to me about that shit, because I'm going to run your ass around out my yard with my motherfucking goddamn... Sawed off shotgun. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Don't come in here with that shit talking to me about that. And that's a lot of y'all use that. Y'all bitches don't know two words of the book, but your big mama nun reading ass bitch to taught y'all this and she don't know what the fuck Sodom and Gomorrah did. She can't even spell Sodom and fucking Gomorrah. Tell her how to spell it. Don't come over here talking to me with that goddamn shit. You ain't learned none of that stuff. You learned this from Big Mama who learned it from her Big Mama who learned it from her Big Mama who learned it from her Big Mama that the goddamn man had her ass locked up there in the closet to come out and cook for his full of cheering them. Bitch, shut the fuck up talking to me about shit like that. I will light y'all ass up on a... I will light y'all hoes up that on a campfire about shit like this. Don't talk to me about that. A lot of you bitches that be over here built off what the Bible say. Bitch, please. You don't know two bitch. You don't know a sentence of that fucking Bible. Your nun reading ass big mama had y'all motherfucking ass over there up under all of that doctrine, bitch. Because the man had her ass up under the shit. He read her three passages, bitch. And she had them passages and, and took it down to her big mama. Man, y'all gone somewhere with that bullshit to me. I don't want to hear that. Don't talk to me. I'll light y'all ass up. I live in the house. My mama, my mama know, my mama be put the, instilled the word in me. And I still light y'all ass up with that shit. Don't come over here talking about that shit to me. Be the first one down there. You be the first one down there to the crab shack. The first one down there to the endless shrimp dinner on motherfucking sun, right after church, bitch, talking about the Levitical laws and you ain't followed the first Ten Commandments and we both or we over there. Not a Levitical law don't apply to you, bitch, because you over there having a whole feast, a whole shrimp fiesta, a whole crab feast, lobster tails and all this shit, bitch. And you want to tell me? Then I'm going to bust hell wide open, bitch, and you got a whole crab. You, you can't keep the crabs, bitch, the crabs running from your ass after church. Crabs just scattering after church, bitch. Man, don't talk to me. I don't hear you. And don't come telling me what God forgave and he did this and the other, whatever, because according to the book, God got on the cross and he died for my sins. I'm already there. You get your sin. See, that's the problem with you. Hold. You get your sins together. Before you start worrying about my seat. Because a lot of you hoes that think y'all seat is so secure going to heaven. That's right. Gossiping. Gossiping lies. Bitch, we all, bitch, when I get on there and start talking about no people business, y'all be right there telling me no people business. So, bitch, we both gossiping. You going where I'm going to. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get the fuck out.
But the, the shit that really pisses me off, when I see y'all hoes, y'all hoes be having the motherfucking goddamn endless shrimp dinners. That's the shit that terrorizes me. I know every, every after every tent revival, but then got the nerves to be telling fags and stuff what's going to happen to them. Man, get out of here. Y'all hoes eat so much shrimp, bitch. What the song say? You eat so much shrimp, you got iodine poisoning. Man, I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all done stop crump me up. Let me go for y'all done keep going. I uh uh. Let me y'all done crump me up with this stuff. I'll talk with y'all later on. I love y'all. I done got crump. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I got to go. This started off. I got to go. Y'all start talking to me about the way the way gays, the way judge, 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 judge Joe Brown. Bitch, you ain't going to heaven. All you hoes that think y'all see is guaranteed that y'all got that guarantee, you motherfucking one-way ticket to heaven, bitch, you gonna gag, girl. That's right, mixed linens. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna pressure up. I love y'all. Chi-Chi, bring your ass on now so we can go pack this stuff up. Y'all got to take a COVID test in 30 minutes, too. All right, y'all. Bye. I love y'all.